Hello, hello, namaste once again. This is me, Diara. Welcome to my channel. This is another pick a card reading. This is a love reading about you and your specific person. Whoever it is that you have in mind, it could be your boss, your brother, your father, it could be your crush, your ex, your husband, um, someone you are simply interested in and you don't know yourself where this is heading to. Let's just get some information from the divine about this person and the potential of the connection, okay? There will be three piles to choose from as usual. If you want to skip everything else like the shuffling and so on, um, I invite you to check out the description box down low where you will find the timestamps. I always offer timestamps. Okay, so let's just do this. I'm shuffling live. Three piles. Number one, number three, Number two and number three. Ah, oh, funny. Two and three is probably a little bit connected. Who knows? Let's see. One, two and three. And I'm going to start with pile number one. Okay? Pile number one. Let's put these two aside for the moment. Who are we talking about? We are talking about destiny, okay? This is definitely a karmic situation, definitely. You guys have met for a reason and I think there is a story to this pile and to this connection. I think you guys know each other already for a while and there have been a lot of things already going on, back and forth, in and out, black, white, pain, love, you know, everything like this is what the wheel of fortune is talking about there's a little bit of everything you know like it's a wheel sometimes there's an upswing sometimes there's a downswing and i think what the card is trying to let us know here and to let you know is that no it's not just in your head there is definitely a reason why you are here and also a reason why you've met this person. Probably you guys can learn a lot from each other. Maybe you guys are totally different, like two opposites. And this is why you can learn so much from each other. Maybe you guys are alike. Maybe you are mirroring partners and this is how you learn. It depends. It's different for everybody. But one thing is for sure... Um, this is a karmic situation. How do they see you? What do they think about you? When they think about you, when they look at you, when they talk to you, it depends whether you guys talk or not. Uh, maybe there is a separation going on right now. But what, what do they think about you? Just secretly. They would probably never let you know what they think about you. But I will let you know. <laughs> so what do they think about you? The hangman in reverse. Well, what I can tell you is that they think about you, okay? This is what I can let you know. They think about you in a pretty passionate um, way. Knight of Wands is all about fire and passion and maybe even temptation, okay? Um, this is a very fiery energy that I'm catching up from the Knight of Wands. So... If you have not been sure right now whether they do still think about you or maybe whether they have totally forgotten about you already, they have kind of erased you from their head and memory and heart, I would say mm -mm, this is not the case. They think about you for sure. They think about you in a pretty fiery way. Maybe you are, <laughs> I don't know, bringing up all kinds of feelings within them and... Um, I feel like this whole connection, interesting, we're getting a timeline here. I always say to my customers, there is no such thing as time. But yeah, here we go, we get a time card. One year from now, in a year from now. So I feel like the whole con connection will definitely continue at least a year more, okay? Um, and if you are in separation right now, and maybe you have not... Yeah, I've been in contact with this person for a while. Um, the next year, the next couple of months, 
um, contact will happen again, okay? It's not over with this person. Yeah, we see the healing card popping out. Healing will take place. Connection, reunion, reconciliation, gathering, however you want to call it. You know, like communication will come in again. Um, and I don't care where you're at right now with this person. As I said, maybe a lot of things happened already and maybe there is right now a total you know, like breakdown going on, no contact at all. Uh, but still, they think about you, number one. Number two, I see healing coming in into this connection. And no, this has not been at all. It's still continuing. It's still going on. What else do we need to know? Just some general information about this connection. What do we need to know about it? What do we need to know about this person? And yeah, everything. What does Spirit wants us to know today in this reading about you and this connection and this person? Yeah, it's about um, finding... You both have been wounded, okay? Old wounds. Both of you have been wounded. He said something, you said something in return and vice versa. So, yeah, as I said, a lot of things have been happened in this relationship already. Um, not only good things, if you know what I mean. So both of you are carrying bruises and scars from it. And now what's important right now is um, to surrender a little bit, both of you, like make a step towards each other. This is now important. If you want the healing, if you want the contact again, if you still want this person, regardless of what has happened and what has been said and what not, um, you must be willing to make a step towards each other. Okay, this is what these cards say. You must give in a little bit. You must compromise. This is actually what, um, what needs to be done. Let go. In order to embrace and to let in the healing, both of you must let go of everything that yeah, happened. I'm kind of repeating myself here, I feel, but this is the message. The message is let it all go. Let it go. Open yourself up again. Yes, I see the pain. Yes, I see the wounds from the past. I see that a lot of things have happened. I see that both of you are still thinking and dreaming of each other. It's not over for neither you not this, nor this person. Okay, you may not show it to each other for obvious reasons, but you guys do still think about each other and you guys are still connected in a way. Like in, there's an invisible bond, so to say, between you. Um, and I see it happening. I actually see it happening. Yeah, it's safe for you to love, exactly. It's safe for you to love. You may love without fear. Um, and there is still enough attraction. So this current can turn into something positive. I mean, if you don't want this, sometimes I'm getting feedbacks underneath the readings, like comments where people tell me that, yeah, this is all good and well what you said, but I don't want them anymore. To me, this person is dead, you know, I don't care about them at all. Then, yeah, totally agree with you. I mean, if you don't like them anymore, if you don't want them anymore, then, well, why are you here listening and asking for them, number one? But also, take what resonates. Leave the rest behind. Take everything with a grain of salt. You decide. You are the captain, right? We have a choice. I said that in another reading. We have a choice. Um, if you don't want them, if this is your final decision when it comes to this connection, top. Great. Let it all go and move on. But if you are still interested in reconciliation, then you must be willing to give in a little bit, to compromise a little bit, okay? I'm not talking about selling yourself under price here all the time, but a little compromise is just fair, right? It's just fair and um, it's needed. In your case, it's definitely needed. Is there anything else that Spirit wants us to know when it comes to this connection? Any other message that wants to be given today for those who have chosen pile number one? 
Yeah, this is like perception point. It's all about how you perceive the things. It's all about also like um, taking a step back and having a look at it from a broader perspective. Um, I also want to know where, how does this person feel? I mean, I was already asking, what do they think about you? But how do they feel? We know that they still think about you, but what exactly? Yeah, you see, they see you as a very, very strong woman. The Empress. She's the, the, the queen of the queens, right? She is the queen i mean literally right this is the expression of femininity you know like in total uh i don't know how to say it i mean she is strong she's independent she's sexy she's um adorable she knows what she wants she has the scepter in her hand literally you can see it over here in the corner um and yeah he thinks about you he knows that um he has done that he made mistakes he knows that he's completely aware of it it's not that he thinks that um he has been like in his best performance um he knows that he said things or he did not said things and that was not so good. Um, but he is also a strong person. Don't underestimate him. Yes, he suffers a little bit right now. Nine of Swords um, in reverse, sleepless nights, insomnia, worries, concerns and all this. But he is a strong personality too. Actually, you guys would probably fit quite good together if you find a way to compromise. You guys are meant to meet on eye level, okay? He is the king of swords. He's very pragmatic, down to earth, right? He has probably sometimes a pretty harsh way to say and to see things. Very, very pragmatic. No spirituality at all. Really, like, not at all right? You are a little bit more the opposite. You are the queen and you know, you are very in tune with nature. You, I mean, you can see it just from the picture. This is cold and blue and this is very warm, loving, you know, very gentle energy coming off this card, yellow, green, which is all about nature and the sun, you know. Um, so you guys are opposites. I don't really think that you are mirroring partners. I mean, maybe you are, but in a different way, um, if this is the case. Because mirroring can take place in many ways, right? At least two different ways. But anyways, this is not about mirroring and whatever. Um, this is about like finding a way to meet on eye level again. To know that both of you are strong personalities and that both of you deserve a partner who um, can cope with it. It's not about someone must lose so the other one can win. It's about a win-win situation literally okay so i hope this made sense you guys thank you very very much for listening i really appreciate our community if there is um anything i can do for you any recommendations suggestions or if you ever want something personal feel free to reach out to me namaste and peace out pile number two so what do we need to know about this connection? What's going on right now between you and this person? The judgment card. Like this card. I definitely like this card. Um, judgment, yeah. Justice. Fairness. These are the things I'm catching off the card. It's all about justice. It's all about finding um, a peaceful resolution. I mean, maybe you guys have some custody issues going on. You could take this card literal if you want. Um, it's all about like, yeah, someone who is speaking to you from above. Someone who is maybe like judging the case, if you know what I mean. Maybe it has to do with um, legal issues is what I'm wanting to say here. I don't know. Uh, it depends. So if, if this is the case for you, if, if your case has something to do with legal issues, then yeah, welcome to your reading because this is yours, okay? 
Um, how does this person think about you? What do we need to know? How do they see you? What do they want? How do they perceive you and the situation? Well, they know that this is something special and that this is something karmic. Wheel of Fortune coming out. They know that, um, yeah, they you guys must find a way how to deal with each other. It's probably because children are involved and you cannot just disappear out of each other's life. It's impossible, even if you want it. It's not like doable, right? You don't, you cannot disappear. Um, I mean, maybe you can disappear. And I mean, it happens all the time. Like, People, you know, like they have a baby, but then one person is deciding to not take care for the baby and they kind of disappear out of the life. And like years and years pass, they don't pay, they don't care, you know. Yes, this person kind of disappeared, but on a different level, the person is still there every single day. You know, whether you do allow the contact or whether you guys have contact or not, but the person is still there. Yes, they disappeared. They decided to not take over responsibility for the baby, but they are still present in a way, if you know what I mean. Um, and this is a little bit like here what I'm catching. Maybe in your case, you know that I'm reading here for a pretty broad audience. In some cases, children are involved in others it has nothing to do with children at all it's probably something more job related but actually the the meaning is the same right even if someone is not part of your life anymore this person can still be present on a deeper level um, they know that they have to find a way what i said before they know it they know that it, it's not, yeah, you know, like it, it's not helping if they try to act as if nothing has ever happened. Like sooner or later, you must find a way how to deal with it. They see you as a very strong woman, queen of swords in reverse. They know that they should better not mess with you. You are willing to take and to do everything that's needed in order so the situation can be brought into, um, yeah, can find justice. You know what I mean? Uh, I don't know why, but I really feel like this has to do with legal issues here. And they know that you will go all the way. They know it. It's not that you just, you know, like try to fake, like, yeah, I will get a lawyer if you don't do this and that. Because some people do, right? But everybody knows, yeah. You're not. <laughs> okay, you're not. You don't have the money. You don't have the guts. But they know you have the guts. And you will take a lawyer if you need to. Okay, they know that. Trust and patience. Conversations from heart to heart. Yeah, they know that you guys must speak. You guys must speak. Because actually, there is potential. There is potential here. Trust and patience is a good card. It may take a while until the situation can be solved okay so prepare yourself for um, a longer way mm, there's a lot of passion involved i don't really feel like it's love i feel like the love is gone but there is still passion you know like passion um and yeah like Okay, I don't love this person anymore and I know we can never be together anymore, but still, I want this and that because this is my right. I have the right. I deserve it. I earn it. You know, this is what's mine is mine. And um, even if I must go to Kurt, um, I will fight for my right. Does it make any sense to you guys? I hope. What else um, needs to be said here today in this reading? Pile number two. What do we need to know? Any other messages that wants to be delivered for those of you who have chosen pile number two? Let's just see. Okay, a couple more cards. Um, hmm, interesting. Okay, we have the neediness card. Probably someone was or still is pretty needy. And the disillusion. Yeah. Maybe I'm getting a scenario here. I'm getting a storyline. I feel... 
you guys have probably been passionate about the same thing maybe passionate about building up a family having a house together you know like uh, creating a disney world lifestyle like a garden living in the suburbs you know um every evening at 6 p.m you deliver the dinner and everybody sits around the table and speaks about their daily issues and whatnot. So you guys have been burning for the same thing for a while, but your dream has been destroyed somehow, disillusion. It, it never really, well, it never really happened or it didn't work out. It maybe happened, but it not, it did not work out. At the end of the day, you found yourself not being, you know, passionate about the same anymore. Maybe you changed, maybe they changed. And again, karma, right? The karma cross. It's not that the whole connection was a failure. It's just like, I think it had its time. Simple as that. It just had its, its time and that's it. Um... Don't be needy anymore. Don't run after somebody who doesn't want you. Okay. Um, and I think a decision has to be made here. You see the crossroad? It's a dilemma. Somehow it's a dilemma. Maybe because children are involved. Or maybe because once you had the same dream. And somehow you feel sad about the whole yeah, outcome of the situation and that it did not work out. Um, so I see the dilemma. I see the pain. So what is the most likely, as of today, outcome, the potential, the future, the prognosis for the future? What does spirit wants to share with us today? When it Oh, victory. Yeah, but you will find ways, guys. You will find ways. Six of Wands is definitely about victory, winning, bottom of the deck, ten of cups. You will find ways. You will find ways. Definitely, okay? There will be a fair exchange, a fair solution, um, especially for those who are fighting, um, you know, a legal thing here with court and lawyers and everything included, there will be um, a victory. I think it's your victory. You will be up on top of your horse because you are the listener. It's your reading, actually. And from your perspective, Spirit wants you to know that there will be, um, yeah, there will be an ending to whatever it is that you have been to. Yeah, exactly, definitely. Um, it will be good. At the end of the day, it will be good. You will look back one day and you will know that, yeah, although it was not what I wanted when we guys started this whole encounter, but um, now I know that everything kind of happens for a reason, so to say, and I'm fine with it, okay? Even if we cannot understand the reason from our perspective, um, but we can be fine with it. Even without understanding, we can be like, yeah, okay, I surrender, I, I give in, I, I just accept. And I see that you guys will kind of win, whatever that means. So I hope um, this made any sense to you guys, to everyone who has chosen this pile. Let's just see, is there any other message that wants to be delivered? Improved health and... Become active, yeah. So fight for whatever you want to fight. Yeah, go all the way. Don't just fake it. Don't just say it. Really do it. Go all the way. Take a lawyer. Be strong, right? Um, because there will be a good and a fair outcome. Improved health means that, yeah, the situation is going to improve. And I said it already, right? Stay positive. It's all coming to a good ending. Okay, guys? So I leave it here. Thank you very, very much. Um, wish you only the best. And I see you with the next reading. Pile number three. So what do we need to know about your person or the current situation between you and your person? Three of coins. 
It could be something related to job. I want some clarification here. Because it's coins, it's money, it's career, it's business. It's about values. It's about wealth, the death. The Knight of Wands and the Emperor. Could be that you are dealing with a very pragmatic, down-to-earth person who is uh, being identified here by the Emperor. The Emperor is a very strong person, probably self-employed, a little bit older, not a youngster anymore. And there is a huge transformation going on. Okay, so what we cannot see probably, maybe you cannot see it, maybe they cannot see it, it depends. Um, there is a huge transformation going on. Um, I see a lot of fire here and passion, probably also sexuality, I don't know. Uh, but with the emperor, it's a thing, right? It's not always easy to deal with someone like that because they can be a little bit stubborn right? Um, they are used to rule and they are used to people who do exactly what they want them to do. This is what they are used to. Yeah, they are dealing with these kind of people all the time. Um, this is what I'm catching up here. Let's just see. What else do we need to know about the situation and the connection. Hmm. Someone feels trapped. Someone feels trapped. Someone made a wrong decision. And I see a lot of defense mechanisms going on here. False decisions. Someone is trapped. Probably because of these wrong decisions, you know, someone locked themselves in <laughs> and now they have a hard time getting out again, out of the cage. Um, maybe this is how you felt in this connection. Maybe your person, they made a couple of wrong decisions. Maybe they choose somebody else instead of you. Maybe this is why we see the three of coins in reverse. Maybe uh, it was a three-party situation, but they choose the other one. They did not choose you. They took the other one. And now you feel like um, locked out, right? As if you are rejected, as if you are, yeah, not part of their life anymore. Um, Defense mechanisms, I feel it's them. I feel like they do not let you in anymore right now. They are very defensive right now. This situation has to do with the truth. If you want healing, if you want this to turn around again, this whole relationship. Um, yeah, and again, we see the key here. Isn't that interested? interesting that we have a key here and we have it here again? The key to this whole thing is the truth, speaking the truth, being honest. Someone felt not wanted. I'm pretty sure this is a three-party situation. Someone is feeling left out in the cold, and I guess it's you, to be honest. I feel like you feel left out. You feel like as if it's never going to happen for you, not with this person, nor with anybody else. Um, and you don't really, yeah, you are not able right now to, to find the key to your problems. And that's the problem. Uh, let's just see. Let's take a new deck here. Another deck. It's not a new deck. I'm using it all the time, but I have not used it so far in this reading. You are the only ones, pile number three. Uh, because this is really a situation. The solution is in yourself, I'm hearing. Spirit wants you to know that the solution is within yourself. You are the key to your solution. You feel tempted by this person. At least you felt tempted, tempted by them, by their ways, their look, how they smelled, how they touched you, the sex that you had together. Uh, and maybe you did it again and again and again, although you knew that you have not been the only one. Maybe you knew right away that they are married and stuff. But still, you felt so tempted 
they seducted you uh, and you couldn't resist, right? Um, so again, the solution is with, within yourself, pile number three. This is where you can find the solution. Um, let's just see, what else do we get? Pile number three. What's the story? What do we need to know? There is a lot of attraction. Yeah, exactly. What I said, temptation. There was a lot of temptation. They kind of... It, it was a little bit as if they would have uh, cast a spell over you. Or how do you say that? Do you say it like this? I think so, right? You could not resist this person. They did some magic on you, so to say. And for a while, you really thought that this could be your soulmate. But it turned out to not be like this. And now you find yourself um, in this, yeah, in a trap. Right? The whole situation feels like a trap. No way out, no way in, if you know what I mean. That's the problem. That is the storyline here. Very confused, very uh, complicated, not easy. A lot of things has been said already. Uh, so what is um, the guidance? This is a little bit different energy here for those who have chosen pile number three. So I'm asking different questions than I did for the other two piles. What would the spiritual world, the universe, your divine spirit team, what would be their advice to you? How to handle the situation? What should you do? What should you not do? Let's see. We need some advice here. We need some guidance here. So let's see. I feel you are very, very mad at this person. Very mad. And spirit wants you to con take control over it. Okay, take control over your anger. Number one, this is one key to the solution. Uh, number two is um, be ready. Also, happy... Um, Serendipity, I see the serendipity card popping out and I love it. So probably everything will work out in a totally different way. Something completely what you have would never expect it right now, even not now since I'm saying it. Um, have that in mind. Just keep it in the back of your head that sometimes spirit is delivering us a solution that we would never have dreamt of even. Okay, so just have that in the back of your head. But first and foremost, you must open yourself, guys. As I said, the solution lays within you. This is your message today. If you are ready to open up a completely new chapter and to step out of the darkness, the pain, the sorrow, the, the rage, the anger, the fear, you know, stepping into the light again, that would be the solution of your problem. Okay? Um, what else do we need to know? What is another guidance? Yeah, I feel reconciliation will happen sooner or later, probably in, in different ways than you expect them to happen. Um, I'm just saying that because to me, the nine of, of coins is about reconciliation, but it is a very, very slow moving energy. It's the slowest night of them all. Okay, just know that. So if you expect big things have to happen within the next week or month, mm -mm. it could even be a year, right? It could even be a year un unless the whole situation is solved and at peace again. Yeah, wow. Look at that. Peaceful resolution. There will be a peaceful situation. I ju and I just said, uh, I just, I was just talking about peace, right? And now the peaceful solution card is popping out. I see it. I see it happening. If you open yourself up for new ways and, uh, yeah, new ways, not old ways, like doing the same things again and again and again, but expecting different results because this is not happening this is not working out right you must go and find new ways in order to receive something different something else something better right 
Yeah, and again, big happy changes. Serendipity and big happy changes. Yeah, so definitely some surprises will be delivered to you. Spirit has not forgotten about you, okay? Just know that they see you. Yeah, they do. They see you, they feel you, and they are arranging something beautiful for you. A big, happy change and surprise, okay? Something that you are totally not expecting. But what you have to do in order to even see these surprises and changes is to open yourself up, okay? This is what you need to do. Okay, I think I leave it here, you guys. Thank you very, very much for letting me do this beautiful reading. I really like the energy, especially of um, pile number three. Uh, I hope you like this reading too. Thank you. Oh, and I must add something. I was just seeing that at the bottom of the deck, we have the birth card. So this is a t t total new beginning for you. You can rebirth yourself, guys, pile number three. Uh, everyone who's listening, because I know we have some cross watchers here from other piles. This is here a time for a completely new beginning. Open yourself up, be ready, step into the light, step out of the darkness. Beautiful. Thank you very much. Peace out. Namaste.